doing? <laughs> Nothing. Hello humans and welcome to the Daily Think Share. My name is Zach and I'm here to bring to you what I've been thinking about, sharing about, working on, etc that I don't have time to teach you in the public school math classroom. So if you're new to this channel, I would invite you to consider subscribing. So today I'm visiting my parents. This is my the room that I grew up in. I asked sophomore year to paint it lime green and I loved it ever since. And one of the things that I promised my parents as I don't wanna go through what they went through is that every time I visit them, I promise to start getting rid of some stuff that I grew up with. Some of the stuff that you know I, I don't necessarily need later in living in a, in a house of my own with my wife. I don't wanna deal with what they had, which was their parents either died or they moved out at a really old age and had so many, so many things. And they had, they had to do a lot of traveling to figure out how to get rid of all this stuff. And so what I've been doing is while things are in okay condition, while some things are still relevant, I've been looking for new homes for things. So for example, this Corvette ZR1 model, it's kind of dusty, is uh, is an item that I always enjoyed having around as a kid. And you know, it's, it's at that time in my life, I, I don't think I'll necessarily enjoy having it on a bookcase uh, when I have my own house. So I'm looking for a new home for it. I'm thinking about where I can donate it to. And for some of the people out there that, you know, as you saw me naturally uh, visiting my parents' home playing with my Millennium Falcon, I have so many Star Wars toys. I'm almost always looking for new homes for things as I come and visit. This this entire room used to be filled with stuff and I've gotten rid of so much of it over the years so that someday when my parents are moving out or we're selling the house or whatever, I don't have all this stuff and all these memories to dig through. I know a lot of people out there, um, I have a friend that she's she still has tons of boxes at home with a lot of her parents' things. And she goes through about a box a week or a, a box a day. And, and it's just a lot of emotional things that come up, especially when you've lost people. So for you millennials out there that are moving on to your own houses or you're, you know, you're living away from home, but you haven't moved all your stuff out of your parents' house, really start thinking about every time you visit, what are some things you can take with you? What are some things you can throw out? What are some things you can donate or give to someone else? Last year, I gave away almost all of my football cards that had been sitting at home to one of the students in my school that really enjoyed collecting football cards. And if you're someone that's looking to move on to college or you're moving out of your house, start you want to start thinking about what are some things that you are not going to want to fish out through when you're totally disconnected and not using that item every day. So I know this is something that really empowers me. I get a little sense of nostalgia every time I come home and it's a great opportunity. By the way, seriously though, for this model uh, on eBay, there were like 15 to 20 bucks, but if there's a good home out there that would like to send me shipping money, I will absolutely send you this Corvette uh, ZR1 1992 model um, just for shipping money. Otherwise, I'm, I'm sure I'll find somewhere to donate it to. But I hope you enjoyed this. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want more, please subscribe and stay weird.